Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson. We are here on a Tuesday with Stash Dive Tuesday and Scrap Timber 2022. The prompt for today for Scrap Timber was to do some fussy cutting. So I'm going to just go ahead and let this video play along as I just talk to you about the challenges that I am participating in. So this is fussy cutting. It's just a piece of Christmas paper that I had laying on my table and so that ties into Stash Dive Tuesday where that was um, brought together by Rebecca and Scrappy Adam and what we do is we use just bits and pieces that are in our collection of things that just need to be used up so the one rule is that you can use collections but you can only use one or two things from a collection I didn't really have to worry about that this time because I am just doing a bunch of scraps. So this is going to be just, you know, a few little gingerbreads that I'm going to be cutting out from this gingerbread background. And so I'm going to be using these as also the fussy cutting that goes along with the scrap timber prompt that is for today. And so you can see that these gingerbread that I am cutting out, some of them are, you know, missing parts. So they are the parts that have run off of the edge of the paper. And at this point that I'm cutting this out, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. But that's part of the fun of using our scraps is I knew I had to do some fussy cutting. I had this paper laying on my desk and the gingerbread were really easy to fussy cut out. So that's what I just used as basically what I call my springboard into my final product. The other way that you can do fussy cutting is not only from patterned paper, but you can also stamp out some in images from your stamp sets and then cut around them. That too is fussy cutting. And so, you know, just kind of whatever you do, wherever you have to use your hands and cut things out. Now, another way to cheat to cut out images is uh, using a scan and cut machine. I do have one of those. And what that does is it scans, say, this piece of pattern paper, and then you can dial it in to where it will cut out each of these little gingerbread. So I would consider that fussy cutting, but that's kind of the cheater way, right? So here are those gingerbreads. You can see that there's just bits and pieces of them. They're missing some legs and some arms. And these photos are of 2021 Christmas cookie baking. My mother and I like to get together and bake up a bunch of cookies. And this year we enjoyed um, having my daughter-in-law and my two grandsons. And here is another sheet of paper I found in my green category here in my scrap room. And I figured those poinsettias will be perfect. So I fussy cut those out as well. And then I fussy cut out that green rectangle, the brown rectangle to the right, and then those two little red patterned uh, rectangles. So you can see the red pieces I have here. These were cuts from my Disney layout I just did where I featured the uh, Fab Five. So I figured those were on the desk too. Red is perfect for Christmas. There's red hot, uh, what are those little red hot dots on the gingerbread? So that helped bring in the red. So I'm going to put these on here too, using up some more scraps that were laying here in my way on the desk. And so I'm not going to bore you with watching all of these, I don't believe, but I decided to alternate them by doing the diamonds and then I'll alternate the straight thin border that you can see over to the left. And then I'll just keep alternating those down this Christmas tree patterned paper. If you look at the edges of the Christmas tree pattern paper, you can see that I did edge distress with my cranberry ink. So the ink matches the cranberry red cardstock that I'm using. And so this just kind of gives this patterned paper a little bit of interest, gives it some design, uses up scraps in my room, and gives your eye somewhere to follow along on the page. I tore, I kind of went between whether I should put some black behind this or another cardstock behind the tree. I decided not to, it's thick enough. And with putting these patterns down in here, I didn't want to make it too busy. So the white Christmas tree background kind of plays as that neutral. The red pieces here are design and elements, give it some texture. And then I'll be putting down the photo mat to put the pictures on and then the green one is going to be kind of where my title journaling goes. So just my ATG gun, I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down. Notice I'm not taking the ATG clear to the edge. It's because I don't know if I'm going to be tucking those gingerbread in behind the brown or behind the photos. So I wanted to leave myself 
the versatility to change my mind if I wanted to. I'm just lining this up with the trunks of the trees on that pattern paper to try to get it straight. And then with the green one here, I'm going to lay it down in between those diamond borders because I want it to kind of show the like the triangle shape above and then come out at the sides of the green rectangle. So you can see me kind of moving around a little bit trying to get that centered in there. Again, using those trees to help to line it up and have it straight. Here are the photos. This is me with our youngest grandson and he's admiring the cookies that he can't quite eat yet. <laughs> and then here are the gingerbread cookies. My daughter-in-law decorated all these and just had a ball doing that. So this is a great memory to be documenting. And there my little adhesive runner ran out. I typically use my Tombow adhesive because it is acid free. I like to use it on the back of my pictures, but since it ran out, I went ahead and just used the ATG on this bottom photo. So, you know, it is what it is in your craft room. Depends on if you're a real stickler on acid free or not to give you your liberties to do different things. <laughs> so here are those gingerbread that I fussy cut out. I'm gonna lay them around the photos here and I kind of want it to look like there's the one standing up and then he's kind of tumbling down the edge of these photos. So that one's missing the bottom foot, you know, kind of the bottom of it. And then the other one is missing the entire foot. And then this one I just laid down is missing the head and an arm. And then here he is peeking out and waving. I thought that was kind of fun to put him over there to the right. So this was fun. Like I say, I cut those out not knowing at all what picture I was going to be using, how I was going to be doing the layout, but this is how it all came together. And Stash Dive Tuesday, thank you, thank you, because this just helped me use of the things that were laying on my desk. So in the description below, you will find the playlist for the Scrap Temper 2022, which is by Laura Alberts and the Scrappy Sisters and Christy's Beautiful Life. And then Stash Dive Tuesday, which is Rebecca Lockhart and Scrappy Adam. So with Stash Dive Tuesday, we kind of hit and miss. It does happen every Tuesday if anybody but is participating. A lot of us took the summer off, but I think we're going to slowly start coming back. I know I'm, I haven't been on here for Stash Dive TV Tuesday very often. Pardon me, can't talk very well today. But Scrap Timber is on every single day of September. Just go through the playlist and whoever's posting that day will have their videos linked. We don't have to do it every day. So far I am six for six. So it just depends on how family life goes and other commitments. So here are some stamp sets that I'm pulled from my stash. I'm gonna use this little cutie pie. And I was thinking of using this baked images and then this one has some sentiments on it. I'm gonna use the Our Family Tradition that's on here. And then I also thought about this one because it says happiness is. Spoiler alert, I didn't use that one. And then the saddle ink I pulled because it looks like the gingerbread. So there you go, Our Family Traditions, the sweetest My Little Cutie Pie is my title. I did the poinsettias, I did some sequins and some drills for my diamond painting. And I left that lower right hand corner open just for a place for your eye to rest. Thank you so much for being here. Please go watch everybody else's videos. Take care. Happy crafting.